Hello, my beautiful water signs. Thank you guys for tuning in to the uh, Real Love Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Happy New Year. <laughs> I already pulled the first two cards out. I just actually restarted this video because I had a little hiccup before. <laughs> but it's okay. Welcome to your 2024, uh, January 2024 reading. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Sun, Rising, Venus, North Node. If you guys are new to Real Life Tarot, welcome. I truly appreciate all you guys. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you're new to Real Life Tarot, welcome. All right. Let's get into the rest of the energy that's coming out here. Definitely a soulmate twin flame connection here. Um, something you need to be patient for. All right. We have anxiety. You're so anxious about this water signs, okay? You're really ready to be with your twin flame twin flame or soulmate. Yeah, caring connections here. And someone's uh definitely, excuse me, someone's definitely envious of this, okay? So uh why are they envy though? Envious though. Yeah, man holding the coin, pinnacle, okay. All right, so there's some man who, not a man holding a pinnacle. It could be you, it could be a person taking how it resonates, but I feel like it's a third party energy, to be honest. Whoever this man holding the pinnacle for you, somebody is very envious of you, okay? It also could be your 20 twin twin or your soulmate, but taking how it resonates. But I really truly get the energy of someone who's watching you, is really jealous of your connection that you have with. Uh, your twin flame or your soulmate somebody who wants to possibly invest in the connection and they're envious and i feel like maybe in the uh, in the distant horizon somebody wants to or near horizon somebody wants to come in and try to scoop you up uh and invest in this connection. You can have two energies looking at you at this time. Water sign. To that resonates. Mm. But there is definitely a jealous energy around you. Uh, yeah, I see King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to shuffle this a little bit more. Make sure I get the right energy out. The right the Holy Spirit. Please give me honest messages. Be on the white light of Tarot, the Oracle deck, and the Twitter deck. For water signs, how it's good. Give me messages, spirit. It's a heartbreak. Give me messages. The sun. <clears throat> something is going to make you very happy, or something will be illuminated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is going to bring you your nine of cups, which you're actually wishing for when it comes to this carry connection. You could be anxious because you could be waiting for it to come in. But while you're waiting for it to come in, somebody else is watching you wait for it to come in. And they're envious because in reality, whoever this man is over here that's holding the pinnacle, it could be this person too um, that you're um, thinking about. But I don't, that's not the energy. I'm sorry. It could be, but that's not the energy I'm feeling. I Yeah. Nine of Swords. Yeah, that makes sense because it's also clarifying anxiety. Same energy. So very anxious, very worried that this isn't coming going to come in or whatever. And somebody's probably... And whoever this man is over here, I'm just telling y'all what God's love. They're hoping it don't come in too. They're, they're, they're hoping it don't come in for you, but it is. Caring connection because there's someone in your energy who loves you very much. And I feel this is mutual energy. Yeah, ooh, the devil is here. Three of pentacles and six of wands. Somebody's trying to successfully um no. <laughs> Somebody wants success with you in this connection. They want to work together with you. They want to build with you. But And there's a lot of lust here. Okay. What is it? Judgment. Two of Pentacles. And the King of Cups. Okay. Yeah. I, saw, I told you I saw the King of Cups. But yeah. So this person is really... Whoever you're in this caring connection for, they have a lot of lust. A lot of desire for you. Devil energy here. I'm not getting it in a negative sense. I'm getting it more of this person really desires you. Really wants to um, be with you. Work together with you. And is setting their priorities towards you. And that's the judgment here. They've already made the judgment call. Whoever this King of Cups is, he did fall on the upright, which is a good thing. Um, he's, you know, emotionally ready to commit to you in a connect caring connection. 
And this guy, whoever this man holding the pinnacles, very, very jealous, very envious, very jealous, okay, of this connection. Four of pentacles, yeah. And this person over here is also holding on to you tight. So you guys could be have um an you know two options in love, but I feel like you only want this one, which is the yin yin yang. Yep, five of cups. Yep, and this person is sitting over here because they know it's like a loss for them. Yeah, man holding the coin, they, they could see you, you know, they're regretting maybe not making a move towards you um prior. Yep, the moon. Yeah, hidden emotions for you, hidden secrets, shadow illusions. This could be y'all's energy as well, Pisces uh energy here. Um, or you could be the Pisces is holding um wanting to invest in this connection with your person but there's a king of cups here it could be your energy as well hmm take it how it resonates yeah or you could see your person moving on with another because king of cups is just the energy this could be y'all's energy. This is a water sign energy. Um, you could be the person holding holding this the the this coin. This you know wanting to offer this person something. But you see them. They could be in another loving connection, or you know they could be whether it's loving or not committed relationship or whatever. Um, or you could be wanting to. You're envious though. I feel like there is another energy here. Yeah, I do. I feel like there's another energy here. Give me more. Why is this person holding on so tight? You were there. Take it out resonance. Only take it resonates and leave the rest. Okay. Somebody's feeling determined to have some type of um, forward movement. Page of Wands. Ten of Cups. Yeah. King of Swords. So I knew there was another energy here. Yep. It's King of Swords. Strength. I feel like also, too, somebody has been using, like, head over heart or making head over heart decisions or whatever. Um, Maybe in their ego with Strength card here. Um, Just saying Leo Energy. And um, it could be causing this person, you know, to miss out or have caused you or them to miss out. Take it out resonates um, on this connection um, with the five of cups being here because I feel like somebody, yeah, somebody wants to come in and heal something with the queen of wands, Leo Aries Sagittarius energy and maybe fight for the connection. King of wands. Yeah, there's another. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Queen of Wands to the King of Wands fight. Yeah, this could be like, you guys could, you know, oof. This is definitely third party energy here. I feel it's strong or whatever. So yeah, somebody is watching somebody go into another loving connection. What could be with a King of Wands, could be with a King of Swords, or there could be three kings here who's fighting for one person's um connection uh love here and this is causing some conflict five of wands i'm just saying i told you i felt i knew i felt multiple energies here before these um before these cards even flip what is it spirit yeah yeah king of pentacles yeah yep yeah, yep 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 that's the man who's holding the coin yeah so it's, it's definitely yeah King of Pentacles. This is somebody, whoever this person is, or it could be you, them, check it out, resonates. It's definitely in conflict here because there's, it's like they want to move towards um, this person, uh, their person, but they are just already either in a committed relationship or they're already, um, yeah, they could be in a committed relationship or in a soulmate connection of some sort or you're fighting against three other kings. Take it how it resonates. The emperor energy. Damn. Not the emperor. So somebody's ready to come and be the emperor. Could be uh, this king of pentacles here. High priestess energy. You could be. Um, you could be the one that they're fighting over a collective. Take it how it resonates. 
Yeah, high priestess. Yeah, because somebody wants a higher level of commitment. High priestess to the ace of cups. Yeah, so it's like somebody is using their intuition uh, when it comes to this connection. Six of swords, high friend. That, yeah, strong, higher level commitment, yin and yang energy here. Somebody, yeah, but there's a tower and ten of swords because somebody stayed stuck probably for too long when it comes to um, marrying the empress. Yeah, queen of cups of the empress. It's just like, Somebody took their time and waited too late and they stay stuck and stagnant for a really long time. And, and yep, and that caused heartbreak. And now the Empress is up for grabs. I'm just saying, the Empress is up for grabs and now there's all these multiple suitors that you have to fight against. Five of Swords energy here. And it's just like, you want to win at all costs, to be honest. Um, But yeah. Look at that. Page of Cups, you want to make this love offer. And you know what I'm saying? You want to go deep with this person. Nine of Pentacles, two of swords to the death. But something ended here. Because somebody didn't make a decision. Or, um, you know, or they took too long to make a decision when it came to moving forward. Like somebody stayed in solitude, stayed hidden, didn't invest, didn't have forward movement. Six of Pentacles to the Nine of Cups. It's like... Somebody really does want equal give and take with this person and is trying to manifest them in, but there was two in their head for too long. Eight of eight of uh swords. Yeah, it took them too long to travel. You guys could be at a distance from this person, and now you're getting some truth and clarity that you have real feelings for this person. But I feel like it took someone a really long time to determine that or figure their shit out i feel like also too um with the three of wands being here i feel like somebody needed time to grow um and that's why you know to maybe grow your money because the man holding the pinnacle i feel like also too like somebody didn't want to come towards this empress unless they had something to invest in you know, money to invest into this empress, like to, you know, take care of her, nurture her, give her everything that she wanted and everything like that. The energy I'm getting here strong is it's like, it's ideally great to be, to want to be in that type of relationship where you can give to your person financially and things like that. But I feel like by the time you start getting your money up and you, and for some of y'all, y'all did get your money up. She then moved on to another connection that's loving and emotional and with someone who's emotionally ready and stable that she's actually going to build a connection within a foundation with um you or them take it out resonates with the rose you guys this is only the energy um that i'm pulling for you guys because so i'll be going back and my for back and forth which uh sometimes i'll be like no it's not the other person it's the other way around okay so i'm just reading the energy all right and somebody is now you know wishing that they would have made a move you know what I'm saying? Towards the Empress when they had the opportunity, when you guys were in a connection or you were in this person's presence. Because truthfully, this person is your wish fulfillment. Now you're sitting in the Nine of Swords wishing that you would have did the damn thing. And now you see them looking fly, fly. And Queen of Wands came out, you know, fine and fly, you know, doing their th thizzle <laughs> out in these streets. <laughs> And now you over here looking stuck like a truck because <laughs> now you want to come towards him. But you got the King of Wands, the King of Cups, and the uh, King of uh, Swords came out. King of Swords came out first. But yeah, it's like multiple suitors. I, that, that's the energy of multiple suitors for me. You know, that's how attractive this Empress is. She's attracting abundance. She's attracting, you know, um, like-minded individuals, people who want to work with her, who want to scoop her up, take her out on dates and things like that. And... Now you feel like it could be a missed opportunity. Yeah, the lovers. Queen of Pentacles to the lovers. Yeah, on the split. What else? Yep, the death. Yep, could we want to rebirth to heal something? We want to communicate. You know, you want you want a lot of things with this empress. <laughs> Look at her. She right here. Uh, and I just shuffled. Let me shuffle again. I will, I will actually think I should pull from her second deck because I know how I get. Sorry, not, not, not you just slid all the way over. 
Oh boy, water signs. So somebody is in a pickle, either over you or you over them. Flip the roles. Yeah, the world. Yeah, because you guys are setting off onto a whole new journey, right? You like cold cycles, you know, you were them, take it hot resonance. And now somebody wants to come on this new journey, but I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. It's, it's just giving very much be the best man win type energy. Yep, somebody does want to go on a new journey in a tool with the two of cups situation. Just like I said. <laughs> Definitely y'all energy, and you guys could be sitting out. This could be y'all. If somebody is looking at y'all wanting to sit out on a new journey with you, and you know, you out here doing your thing, you know, I got a flipper, and these over here just flip the whole look, just chow. Yeah, yeah, wanting to make an offer for of uh cups here, wanting to make an offer towards this connection. Let's see here. Three, I'll do a three card spread. Yeah, nine of cups. But the wishes, yeah, will not be granted. Strength, death, yeah. Somebody took too long. Just like I said, something that's not panning out the way somebody envisioned it. The Nine of Cups is in reverse. It's like wish will not wishes will not be granted here in this connection for this Two of Cups. Um, and somebody is in regret about that is what I uh, energetically feel. And somebody is really looking within to be strong. Um, you know, to deal with this ending because there's something caused the ending. Yeah, I see Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Give me a third row of spirit for my water signs. What is it? Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's definitely a heavy burden. And it is, it is, it's a heavy burden. Somebody. Somebody just couldn't get it together or you could have been overthinking the whole situation from the gate. Um, maybe you feel because I feel not maybe because it's because you feel like you didn't have enough. So you waited till you got your money right and everything. And sometimes when you're dealing with a true love situation or you have really true love for this person, because also to the moon card. I mean, not the moon card came out. High Priestess card came out. You know what I'm saying? You didn't use your intuition. Um, even though it didn't come out in the reverse or whatever, but somebody should have used their intuition um, on how to come towards this person. Yeah, when it comes to the Eight of, cu Ace of Cups. <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Yeah, and for some of you guys, you found out that this person was already, yeah, they're in a committed relationship with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, that, you know, that's probably going really strong. And this is a heartbreak for you guys, finding this out. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Or they found this out about you and they moved on to another connection. Take it out, resonates, or vice versa, flip the road. It's a tower, yeah. Ten of, yeah, Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, the Tower. It was like somebody oh, somebody could have also moved on to because someone in this connection caused some type of major betrayal. And you didn't invest in the connection the way you should have from the gate. That's why the Five of Wands, uh, <clears throat> I mean, sorry, the Five of Cups came out earlier. Rewind the video, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups. The wands, King of Pentacles, yeah. It's just like your idea was to grow this relationship and get into this reunion with this person and actually invest in them. King of Pentacles energy, you or them, or th or that's what they felt they wanted with you. But third party here, judgment. Hmm. Or somebody will be in celebration in a Ten of Cups situation. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Five of Wands, though. There's conflict here still. Three of Wands. The Lovers. The Magician. So this could also be past energy as well. Like, you guys caused, like, some type of heavy burden or whatever. But I feel like also, too, like, while you were taking so long and causing so many delays... 
this person could have gotten another connection. That's just period, point blank, with the third party. And that was a judgment. And they could have started a family. You guys found that out. And that's why the heartbreak is here. Thank you. Yeah, five of wands. So once you tried to move towards this person and travel towards them and manifest them, you know, yeah, to make this offer, page of pentacles, two of swords, page of wands, king of wands. Yeah, you found out that they were already in another connection with a king of wands. You juggled them, king of swords, come out. Yeah, three of swords, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Same players came out. King of Wands and the King of Swords energy. Yeah. Or somebody could have been juggling between the, the two, the three. There's definitely third party energy, but I felt like somebody won. Yep, Ten of Pentacles. There's a family here. Will of Fortune. This was faded. Yeah, I feel like all you suitors is upset. Yeah, and for for wise, this person got married on you. Oh wow. Yeah, and that was karmic justice for playing in their face. So yeah, somebody was out here being a player, and you know, it could have been you guys could have been um betraying them. Oh, I don't know why I get this energy. For some of you guys, you were juggling this person with Okay, for some of you guys, this is same sex. Okay, it is. <clears throat> you were juggling this person. And I'm, and I'm sorry, because I see the rainbow and then the two and then the, the king of wands and the king of pentacles. I mean, the yeah, king of wands and the king of swords energy here, child. I feel like, okay, for some of you guys could be in a same sex relationship or you could have been juggling between your sexuality for some of y'all. I don't know why I get that energetically. Very, very strong for some of you guys. It's not going to resonate with everyone. So only thing that resonates and leave the rest. And you could be bisexual and that's fine. This is a no judge sound um, channel, okay? We love everybody here. And while you were sitting out, that's why it was taking your ass so long. You sitting up here trying to figure out your sexuality for some of you guys. Ticket art resonates. And that's what was the hold up for some of y'all. For some of you guys, you are the water sign who is going through this heartbreak right now. You are juggling a same-sex relationship or being in a same-sex connection of some sort when it came to an empress energy. Because empress did come out earlier. And... Well, while you was doing that and trying to figure out life and your, your finances and all of this or whatever, this person found somebody, this Emperor Aries energy, who was definitely going to, you know what I'm saying, have forward movement in a, in a connection. And that's just period. Um, yeah. High Priestess energy here, I see. Again, I just shuffled it in there because, I mean, yeah. Yeah, somebody has start got a start, started a passion new beginning, and that's just that. With the Ace of Wands, I mean, somebody just moved on, you know, because somebody couldn't figure it out, you know. Six of Swords to the Hermit card. What is it? Yeah, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yikes. Yep. So somebody was um too busy out here slanging um. Slinging dick around. I'm just saying. It's late, so listen. <laughs> I'm just keeping a buck, okay? That's literally for some of y'all, that's what happened. And um took too long. Took too long. You know, out here in these streets, being the knight of wands in the reverse, okay. Um, you know, having a whole bunch of different sexual encounters, same sex encounters and things like that. And you missed out on your actual person. And now they're in another committed relationship. Could be married. Um, take it out resonates or just, yeah. And now somebody's stuck watching them from a distance. 
and not knowing what to do, not what you, not knowing which way to go. Um, and I feel like you were there. I mean, this for some of y'all, this is y'all's energy. Don't shoot the messenger. It's okay. I mean, you know, this is what I'm here for. You're trying to figure out if this is gonna happen, but or if it happened, if it has not happened yet, um, the marriage part it's coming for some of you guys because not all of your person, you know, not all of you guys, your person has gotten married. Um, yeah, but they are in that relationship. They're they're in or they're headed towards a committed relationship, but they are entertaining a different person um towards marriage, if that makes sense. Yep, just like I said, don't play with me. The moon. Yep, the moon to the ace of cups, yeah. Yep, ace of pentacles. There's the offer, ten of pentacles, yeah. I told y'all. I'm just yep, I'm just I'm just saying. I see side reaction. You know, don't don't get that like I said, don't kill the messenger, but that's just how it is sometimes. Sometimes it's just how the cookie crumble. What's the potential outcome for uh, my water signs? Chariot, okay. Page of Cups, the star. You're gonna take a leap of faith anyways. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go towards towards this wish regardless. The chariot, uh cancerian energy. Because look at y'all just showing up in, in Page of Cups. Listen, you're going <laughs> to, by hook or by crook, you said the devil. Yeah, because you find this person very beautiful, alluring. You know, you want to be with them. You know, they're very confident. They just, they just do it for you, okay? And I feel like emotionally, you just want to be with this person. King of Wands. You could be embodying the King of Wands energy or seven, yeah, King of Wands, seven of swords, two of cups. Yeah, Nine of Cups. You feel like, oh, who? You could be still going towards this person, but when you get to them, when once you get to this Queen of Wands, you're going to find out the King of Wands is here. And you're going to feel like they stole your person away. Yeah, because, you know, Seven of Swords is also an energy of a thief, but this is y'all's energy. This is y'all's energy. Like, you feel like this King of Wands came and stole your person away. Two of Cups energy. Yeah, Nine of Cups and took your wish for fulfillment from you. Whew. But it's not that they stole. I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, if Mr. Studio Girl was a person, it would definitely be the King of Wands because they known for that in job. Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I feel like I'm talking to a divine masculine here that's watching the channel, but let's get into it. Mm. Yep. I'm, I'm getting strong divine masculine energy here. King of Swords keeps coming out. Oh, or this is these are the ones who are coming. Keep, they keep coming out. King of Wands, King of Swords. Like, come on. Yeah, they keep coming out. The chariot. Come on. What else? Child. What's the seven of swords? Page of Cups is that listen, they feel like you feel like they stole Joe. Yep, Tower. Oof. Having a meltdown behind the scenes. Yeah, when it comes to this love connection, devil. Woo. I can't make this shit up. And this got you hotter than fucking fish grease. Listen, let's get into it. Like, no, bitch. What? I feel like y'all, y'all probably, not probably y'all in spiritual warfare with each other. That's what it's giving. You watching them, they watching you. Yeah, Knight of Swords. You're about to do some impulsive shit. Be careful. Don't end up in jail because King of Swords is also jail energy. Yeah, because somebody is going to do something impulsive. Yeah, yeah, with the, the King of Swords to the because the King of Swords is also like authoritative figure. Some somebody gonna move impulsively to get themselves caught up in jail because you like nah bruh, but this is karma justice. Libra energy could be dealing with the Libra or wanting to go towards the Libra, don't have to. Oh yeah, King of Swords to the Justice. Give me the tower. Yeah, water signs. And y'all be real emotional too. <laughs> But it's funny. <laughs> oh, somebody about to get it. Oh my goodness. Water signs. What's the tower? Because y'all here, Scorpio, y'all here, y'all serene and strong. Who is not playing the judgment? Yeah, somebody, somebody, oof. Somebody about to, about to catch a case when it comes to this empress. I told y'all y'all fighting over this empress. I can't make this shit up. How are y'all coming out? Chill. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Oof. 
yeah, the just the judgment is in favor of the empress, you know, to for her to have this passionate beginning. Queen of Cups with her loving self, beautiful, the lovers. Wow. Maybe I will get her. Yep, King, oh, oof, King of Pentacles. Because you want to invest in them. Yep, and have higher level commitment. Oh my God. If putting up a fight was a person, you getting your spirit. You getting, listen, with the Sun card, oh, Ace of Cups, you not playing. You said you got me fucked up. You telling all these other kings, yeah, you got me fucked up. You think you about to take my Empress type energy. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, yeah, cause you, cause you, but you took so damn long. You took a long ass time. Page of Wands, that's the good news. You fighting for him? You not? You was not letting up. Damn. Yep. Four of Pentacles, two of Pentacles came out again. Knight of Pentacles. This is like you, Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, this Le Le Empress is Libra energy, Libra Taurus energy. I'm just saying. You guys are about to put up a heavy ass fight for the, your person. Yep, and have to have forward movement by all means necessary. Nine of Wands, you blocking everything. Yep, you 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 coming in as a wounded warrior. You coming to heal some shit. You coming to union. Listen, ooh, if you if you are not a um a a sun water sign, you could be any sign with heavy water in your chart. I feel like this is for y'all too, because King of Wands energy, King of Swords energy. Yeah, listen, there's multiple suitors here, and they're emotionally crazy over this Empress. It's like, yeah, Emperor energy. Somebody is really coming in as the Emperor. You by hook or by crook, you is not playing like you. But by all means necessary, you getting your person, or this person is getting them. Take it out, resume, flip the roles. Listen, this is the energy, this strong masculine energy here that this whole reading. And I felt like you guys know who these these players are. You know who this, because there's a King of Swords, another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And there's a King of Wands here, Leo, 